As we enter the evening, we seek wisdom concerning the love of God for us and how it can be revealed to us. I invite you to hear these words from Scripture, 1 John chapter 4. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believe the love that God has for us. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The aging Apostle John wants to be sure that younger believers understand the immensity of God's love for us. They were not privileged to know Jesus personally. They did not witness his miracles or hear his teachings firsthand. In his three relatively short letters, John seeks to convey his own passion for discipleship and his deep love of Jesus to the next generation of believers. He stresses that it is the love of God for us that caused him to send his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. It is the love of God in us and reflected by us that makes God known to others. God is love, said John. How can we help people know and believe this? Allowing God's love to be visible through us is certainly the better way to share it. Think of a time when you were able to be a witness for Christ through an act of love. Was your action spontaneous or did you carefully plan it? In what way was it a successful witness? Was your passion for Christ obvious to the recipient of your witness? Think about how we remain in the embrace of God's love and how you will stay alert for opportunities to express love in God's name as we listen to, O oh, love that will not let me go. Close my eyes to 
out in vain that morn shall be. Hear these words of scripture from Acts chapter 8. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb, silent before its shearer, so he does not open his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, About whom, may I ask you, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak, and starting with this scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. And the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way, rejoicing. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our minds struggle at times to fully comprehend the ways of the Lord. This is why meditation on the scripture and time spent in prayer is so important. The spiritual disciplines, when faithfully practiced, can enlarge our understanding. Even so, the truth is not always easy to discern. We are blessed when willing teachers, those seasoned in the faith, help us by sharing with us their insights into Scripture. The Ethiopian eunuch was trying to understand Scripture, but he was sensitive enough to realize there was something more to what he had encountered in his reading. Philip was willing, was a willing guide for him. He was responding to the spirit who had prompted him to make himself available to help this man. The time Philip spent mentoring the eunuch resulted in his acceptance of Christ and his baptism. Who has been a guide to you in your faith? 
who has helped you to understand in a better way? Are you willing to guide and mentor for others? If you are an older Christian, what would you like to say to the younger believers who are following in your faith footsteps? Do you have the sense of urgency that the Apostle John had? Do you have a willingness to be available to someone who needs a clearer understanding? Consider these things as we listen to Wintley Phipps sing, Tell Me the Story of Jesus.
Would you pray with me? O oh God, we give thanks this evening for those who told us the story or explained the story to us in ways that captivated our hearts and allowed your Holy Spirit to work within us. We pray to become storytellers who can convey how very real and present you are in the lives of your people. Continue to give us wisdom and truth. Continue to send us out to share it. Give us a willingness to speak your name and share your love. How good is your kingdom. How great is your love, we pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.